Carrie Jarislow. I am a best-selling author, a conscious relationship coach, and an intuitive. And I am so excited to share with you some thoughts about how to finally find self-love. Because self-love is imperative if you really want to have a healthy relationship with another person. My first tip for cultivating more self-love is to develop a self-care practice. There's a lot out there about this idea of self-care, and a lot of people think self-care is a luxury, but I will tell you that self-care is essential. We have to take care of ourselves before we can take care of another person, and I look at self-care as being practical and easy. We're all busy. We all have lots going on. And when I talk about self-care, my definition of that is really connection to self. That's what we're going for with a self-care practice. And you want to start small. Like three minutes a day is all you really need to just sit with yourself, breathe for three minutes, and really understand where are you at? What's going on? What are the feelings that are going on? Because when we know where we are, we can acknowledge that, accept those feelings, and then step into another choice. So that self-care practice is all about consistency, showing up every day. So you know that you have this sacred space to show up every day where you can connect with yourself. Tip number two is to start a gratitude practice every day just for one minute. Think about as you're falling asleep, if you sit in the energy of gratitude, it really will help you go into your sleep cycle with a better energy than if you were to go into that with all of the issues and all of the things that went wrong. So when you start a a gratitude practice, start small. Start small. So something like, I love this cup of coffee. It tastes so good. You put your hands over your heart, you close your eyes, and you just thank you for this coffee. Thank you for my legs that are keeping me up and allowing me to get exercise or walk. Thank you for the food in my refrigerator. Thank you for this pen that I'm holding. I love how it writes. I mean, it could be anything. And then when you get to that one little thing, it could be one little thing, Just milk it, really sit in the energy with your hands over your heart about how thankful you are. It will start to create, if you do it every day, you'll find that it expands into more of your life. Tip three is learning how to accept exactly where you are and exactly what you feel. If you are having trouble in that gratitude practice, then start here. Because when we force something, we create more resistance and we will fight back to whatever we're trying to do because of that resistance. Carl Jung said, what you resist persists. But if we allow and accept the feelings that are going on within us and say that I am okay for feeling it, then the energy really starts to move. So hand over heart, close your eyes and say, I feel really sad right now and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes when I'm really resisting something, I double down in my acceptance practice. I just identify what I'm feeling and I tell myself it's okay. Because many times those feelings are just there because they want to be seen and acknowledged. Tip number four, trust that everything in your life is helping you to evolve as a person, okay? This takes our mental mind chatter and our dialogue from why is this happening to me to why is this happening for me? It creates a state of curiosity and that helps to create more self-love. Because if I believe that everything is happening for me and happening for my growth, I embrace challenges. And in that, I create more self-love. I'm not blaming myself or blaming another for a certain situation. I'm really sitting with it. 
I'm taking that acceptance practice, that it's okay that I feel this way. Then I'm going into gratitude, saying thank you for bringing this experience into my life because I know that this is helping me to evolve on my own life journey. And tip number five, get help if things seem too heavy. I know when I am looking at something that is so challenging that I just can't possibly see the sun through the clouds, I reach out to a coach or someone or a friend, someone who can help me understand what's going on. That's really important. And so find someone who you feel resonant with. If you have any problems, reach out to me. I'd love to help you. And let's find a way to help you see your truth. I hope these tips have helped you on your journey to self-love. It is a continual process. Just know we're always going deeper within our self-love. But if you can become your most intimate partner, you will show up in a space of love and forgiveness and acceptance to those around you. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. I'd love to connect. <music>